Dylan! You son of a bitch. That's right, we're back. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VII Marathon. We're continuing where we left off with Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Um, we finally got the Buster Sword. Zack looks the way he's supposed to, basically. Um, he's reached that level of maturity where his his hair is a bit longer. He has that one strand down here and he's wielding the Buster Sword like a Giga Chad. Uh, we got it off of Angeal after he died. He entrusted it to us and said... Passed on his message that he'd always preached about protecting our honor as soldier and all that stuff. And Zack took it and decided to honor that. But it still emotionally destroyed him, having killed his own mentor, basically. And he's wondering what the hell he's even fighting for anymore. Nevertheless, we continue to work for Shinra, as we're being monitored by the Turks now. Um, and then Junon just randomly got attacked by God knows what. Well, Genesis copies. Working for who? Who knows? Um, but Hollander seems to have known something about it, because he took advantage pretty well to run away. And we're trying to chase his ass down. Hollander being the one who created Genesis and Angeal using similar methods. Similar, but not the same. Genesis was made by copying Angeal's mother's DNA onto an unborn child, a fetus, basically, along with Genova cells. Angeal was actually that same woman that, um, her actual child, like a fetus inside of her, conceived and born naturally but was also infused with Genova cells and Mako before being born, just like Genesis. The key difference is being that Genesis was not born of that woman, Angeal was, but they both had her DNA. But that key difference made was what made uh, apparently Angeal sprout an angel wing and be a little bit, apparently, more stable, I guess, more powerful, they perceived it, than Genesis. Um, but Angeal just couldn't suffer the... Uh, the indignity of being not human, I guess, so he just provoked Zack into killing him. Sag. Oh yeah, and to finish catching up on the story, Cloud is... well... I'm sorry, Zack. I don't think I can make it. I'm just not good at vehicles. Cloud's about to fucking throw up or shit himself or both because, well, motion sickness, you know how it is. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's what's happening with Cloud over there. He's trying to get over some motion sickness on the hell from the helicopter ride he took to get here. All right, the chase continues. Go get that bastard Hollander. There he is. That way is the air base. He's trying to get away by air. No way! Evidently. Come, come, come. Oh, he's setting up a trap for us! Surprise, motherfucker! What happens to Juna if you can't stop them? Hmm? You son of a. Ah, damn it! He's destroying the gate to attack the civilians. Hollander? Once I catch you, I'll deck you good! You bastard! And that's basically to distract us so he can get away. <sighs> Defense of the Junon perimeter. The weapons Hollander used to escape are now headed to the evacuation area. Destroy them before they can bring harm to Junon's residents. You can initiate battle with the weapons by coming in contact with the enemies. Make sure you destroy all the weapons. To prevent them from breaking through, start with the ones closest to the defense line. Oh, well this is interesting, so it's kind of like, um, a tower defense game, kind of like Fort Condor. Probably a nod to that. Activating combat mode. Bring it on! Son of a bitch! How about this? Gotta love this! Zack, let's go. Right. I'm ready to be a hero. <laughs> How he's changed and grown in such a short period of time, right? Something I've been wanting to say for a while now is that this game moves a million miles an hour. 
Like, if you don't do any of the oh, side yeah. content and you just do the main... Conflict resolved. The main story and nothing else. Where's the other one? There he is. Activating um, combat mode. It moves incredibly fucking fast. Which is what I expected when I realized that the game's only 11 chapters. And I think I talked about this before already when we first started streaming the game. Like, when I first started it. Um... That, like, they literally added the missions, the side content, which are highly repetitive and annoying. Um... It's mostly just repetitive, you know. If you like the combat, it's not annoying, but... Um... I just find it annoying that it's repetitive in the first place. Uh, but yeah, the repetitive missions are basically meant to be artificial game lengtheners to keep you playing the game because the main story is so fucking short. And my criticism back then was, like, why didn't they just... Instead of making so many, you know, useless side missions that all feel exactly the same, why didn't they just, you know... Why didn't they make more story? Like, with actual... With missions that actually have a purpose, but part of the main story rather than just side con like the missions we did for we've been doing for Yuki or something like that. Um little you know, instead of little side stories that don't matter like that. Oh yeah. Extend the story a little bit longer with something interesting and make you know, make those missions that are right now just nothing but filler meant to level you up and get your rewards. They could have made those into actual main story stuff. With more interesting plot lines, is what I'm saying. Not, not keep them as they are. Um, but the resources that went into making all those missions is basically what I'm getting at. They could have used to extend the main story. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe they made it because. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Maybe it's because they just didn't. They didn't have ideas for how to make the story longer while still keeping it interesting. So they just kind of. Said, fuck it this is it this is what we want Activating combat like the story mode. as it is right now this is all we want but we realize it's too short but we can't come up with anything else to make it more interesting so we'll just pad the game out with side content Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. that doesn't matter like repetitive side content that doesn't do shit you know they're just like yeah fuck it Activating combat mode. they prefer to do that instead i guess Heads up! That's enough! Huh? Thought he was gonna attack. Conflict Raider. Oh yeah! Crazy song. Activating combat mode. Oh yeah! Trying to make sure nothing spawned back there. Activating because I noticed some of these enemies spawned really close to the defense line, so I'm worried if I if I run too far away from the defense line that I'll miss some enemy will like spawn behind me over there and I'll miss them and they'll get through. Not like we haven't seen janky ass mechanics before in this game, right? With, with regards to its mini games, like the stealth mission, the game Conflict failed to tell us we yeah. had to be quiet too. All right, that's all of them. Hollander, you'll pay for this. You bastard! He's pissed. What? Immovable object. The trophy. Oh, cool. Because I didn't let any motherfuckers through, I guess. Oh shit, treasure chests. I'm not... I forget they blend in with the walls in this area because of the sunset and the color of the chest, so I gotta be careful. Okay, yeah, I think we're good.
surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> the first guard scorpion. No more guard spiders for us, huh? Now we've got scorpion types? Hollander's too well connected. Seriously. I got guarded. Damn it, I was holding guard, but I was still in the animation from the attack, so. I messed up. Ah! Whoa, this is not good. I'm ah! uh. All's well that ends well, slick. They saved her first. It's done. You suck. <laughs> That's Turk's teamwork. Pretty good, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, I forgot that was gonna happen. I was gonna say that I skipped one of these when I was like a little impatient with the game in an earlier stream because I thought we were just gonna see memories of scenes we actually already saw. It wasn't until recently that I realized these are scenes we never saw. These are like cut scenes. Cut, cut scenes. Kinda fits. <laughs> these are, yeah, you, like you only see them from the Vegas slot machine in the top left corner that kinda just does its own thing as you play the game, you know? So now I let them play, to see what we can see like that. Damn it, dude. Hey, the game's letting me level up with all the backed up, the backlog of experience points that I've been sitting on forever. Okay, can I just do like a one-hit combo then? I guess, or two, I guess. <laughs> Not much else. Here we go. Oh no, you don't. How's he doing? Didn't pay attention to the fact that I've been sitting on that. Yeah, I'm on fire now. Apocalypse. We saw this before, right? the true power of soldier. Find your own business. Yeah, we did see that one before. Bye now! This is gonna sting! Ah! Damn it. Thunder result! You suck! Hollander's Asshole. that way, right? I really have to get serious now. That's far enough! You suck! Really? You sure? Hey. Oh, hell no, not this shit. What is he? You son of a- uh, Should have known. Mission failed. This goes on your permanent record. Huh? Sephiroth? Long time no see. Let the Turks take care of the rest. I was on my way to Modeoheim, but I heard you were in the area. Lucky me. The situation has not resolved. Genesis copies have been sighted around the world. That can't be. We wiped out those Genesis copies. Did Genesis really die? We just saw him fall into the reactor, dude. That's not a confirmed death. Especially from someone who's not a human. Oh. That's naive, Zach. Come on. They've been sighted in Midgar as well. And Geo was a confirmed see. death. The slums, too. Permission to return. Granted. Uh, hey, thanks. Uh, yeah. Take care. <laughs> you too. Dylan! Son of a bitch. For what it's worth, I suppose. Hey, what's going on in Modeoheim? The device Hollander was using has been stolen. Genesis? Probably. Uh, 
What? We'll meet again soon. <laughs> you trying to ask him something? What's up? I'll hold you to that. <laughs> Dylan! Damn, dude, Sephiroth was such a chill and laid back dude. Before he went fucking crazy. My friend, your desire is the bringer of life. You see that the in the original game, of too. The goddess. Legend shall speak of sacrifice at world's end. The wind sails over the water's surface quietly, but surely. Got it. But yeah, you see that in the original game too. Um, like the original FF7, if you see the way Sephiroth talks to Zack, did Genesis really die? <laughs> if you see the way Sephiroth talks to Zack in Cloud's flashback where he thinks he's Zack, you know? Like when you see the Nibelheim flashback, his banter with Cloud, which is actually Zack, um, you can tell the dude was very laid back and chill. Like, he was not, like, some egotistical hard-ass. He's ex It's consistent with the way he acts here. Like, the, the person he was before he went fucking nuts was literally just the most, like, chill dude ever. Like, even the way he smiled at Zack right now. And he's ever done it several times. He has a warm smile and everything. Like, he was a kind dude. Feels bad, man. He was a really good guy. What the hell just happened? It asked me if I wanted to save and I say, said yes and now it's like... Dude, my TV just turned off. But I mean, I think the fucking console crashed too because I'm not seeing anything on the stream preview. Is this game broken? Dude, it literally turned off my TV. I turned to look and the little light underneath it was off. Bruh. I think we have to redo what we just did. What the fuck? Like, yeah, the fucking, the console just crashed. I just, I'm pushing PS, nothing. I remember, this reminds me of what a streamer said when he was booting up a console game. Because it just isn't available on PC, like it was a console exclusive. And he said... He ran into a tech issue similar to this. Let me uh, restart this real quick. I'll try to talk through this, but I have to get up, so... Dude, it's not resetting. Pulling the power button, it won't even off like that. There it goes. Alright, I got it. Dude, I had to hold down the power button for like 10 seconds. You're only supposed to hold it down for like 5 to force a shut off. It completely bricked the PS5. But yeah, the guy was saying... He was having tech issues with the console game he was playing and he was like, What is this? He said, I thought the benefit... He said, I thought the benefit of playing on console was that you don't have tech issues like you do on PC. Yeah, well, apparently that the only benefit to play on, to ha yeah, to play on console is now gone too, because it has just as much fucking issues as PC. It's like, what's even the point anymore? I remember back when shit used to work. Feels fucking bad, man. <laughs> like, it is amazing to me how older consoles that people have found ways to preserve don't have these fucking issues. They, that, say, that old cliche saying really does ring true. They really don't make things like they used to. Whether it's PC or console. It's just everything is... It's just not made to last anymore. Gotta keep that consumption cycle going, man. Planned obsolescence. And intrinsic obsolescence from using cheap-ass faulty parts. 
to maximize profits. All in the name of maximizing profits. Fucking sucks, man. We might as well be buying $5,000 bricks when we get PCs now and consoles. Well, not much different. It's just a cheaper brick, but it's still a brick. These things fucking suck, man. Yes, I know. That's because it froze. What did, what did you want me to do? Just stare at it? <laughs> Sitting there doing nothing with the light on? Like, what the hell else was I supposed to do? The thing's like, you didn't shut it off properly. Well, you crashed. <laughs> what the hell did you want me to do? Like, you just froze up. There was literally nothing else I could do. I'm hoping the fact that we have a new background here with Song and it says Chapter 7, that might just be because of trophy data, but I'm hoping autosave will save us from having to do that boss fight again. Please tell me there was an autosave checkpoint after the boss fight. Otherwise we have to load the manual save, which is right before that fight, and I gotta do it again. Rage. Continue will always load the most recent data. No autosave, we gotta do it again. God fucking damn it, dude. I'm skipping the scenes. Activating combat mode. Here we go. This is gonna sting. Yeah, like, but yeah, seriously, what I was saying earlier, console's only selling point anymore is not having tech issues. So if they can't manage that, there's no Wait, point to it. Wait, Does Song wear that suit everywhere he goes? <laughs> Were you hoping to see him in swimming trunks? No, just <laughs> wondering if he gets hot. What's the holdup? Let's go. Aren't you hot? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people telling me is. It's not that kind of hot. Uh, at least I got to see something new, but Jesus Christ. These are the questions. I, lo I love that, that they, um... I actually love that scene that we just saw because it it's literally something I pointed out too. Like, they knew the players were gonna wonder about that shit, right? When I was talking about Sung being in a suit at the beach last stream. They knew players were gonna think about that, so they addressed it. I like that. Although it's in a scene that you can only see if RNG blesses you. Speaking of RNG, I don't know if I'll get the same level ups I got last time though. I leveled up once or twice during this fight last time. It might not happen this time. Biggest slot machine. Get fucking destroyed. <sighs> okay, like I said, I'm skipping these. We saw this shit. <laughs> Don't crash My again. Friend, your okay, we saw this one too. Next. Don't crash. It was after this, wasn't it? It was right here. Yeah, it was when I was asked to save and I said yes. And now it works flawlessly. It was so weird about this is that before I started my stream, I was having mad tech issues with my PC. Not that I didn't even touch the PS5 all day today until now. My PC was giving me shit or it didn't used to like it, it was. It's like I'm just cursed with tech issues today. Jesus. Hashtag first world problems over here. <laughs> Sector 5 slums church and all oh, right. He's gonna go see Aerith. Hmm. I thought I sensed something, but maybe not. Oh yeah, and Jill hinted at knowing about Aerith too. Uh oh. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh. Yeah, he did. He left her with a guard dog. How could you not know it was Angel's? Like, just look at the wings, you idiot. You suck! Dog's on our side, buddy. Thank you. Son of a 
bitch. Yeah, thanks, Was Angel. It protecting us? Yeah. Oops. Probably. Oh. <laughs> they ran out of juice. Looks like it's degrading. Poor thing. Does this mean Angel is out there too? It was so, I don't know, sad. Yeah. What did you come here to do? So, a flower wagon. Let's make one. The shagging hmm. wagon. Finally. Yeah, but... Don't worry. Can you hear me? Stay right where you are. <laughs> I'll... I'll take care of things. So, that flower wagon. Let's do it. And Jill really cared. He left a guard puppy for us. Come on, Zach. Come this way. Uh, this way. Yeah. Hey, Aerith. When the wagon's done, will you go above the plate? Yeah. But I'm still a little scared. So first, I'll fill the slums with flowers. Oh, come on. <laughs> when you go above, I'll be with you. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Zach, thank you. Right. Now that that's done, let's get this wagon built. I'll go gather the materials. Aerith, you wait here. Yep. New mail from Cisne and Cons. Oh yeah, didn't I get mail earlier that I forgot to check during last stream? I did, shit. I was like, hold on a second, I never checked all the emails earlier. Consul says I see everything. Hmm, I wonder where you might be. Wait, let me guess. You're hanging out with that Aerith girl again, aren't you? I bet you're wondering how I got that information. See, I know everything about you, even if you never tell me anything. In other words, it's no use keeping secrets from me, because I know how to get information. So talk to me, Zach. You can tell me anything. Tell me about all the things that are wearing you down. Okay. Hansel's trying to slip into our DMs. I, so, I thought that older emails were at the bottom first, but I think that was clearly a, the latest one. Well, this must be the older one. Until asking about our vacation. Yeah. So the older ones are at the top. The newer ones go at the bottom. Okay. Sometimes it's backwards, so... How was your vacation? Haven't arrived at my post yet. Could the director's absence be having this much of an impact on the operation's lack of finesse? Well, I mean, I would think, yeah. By the way, how was the beach? You looked awfully stressed out before you went. Did the waves and the sun help you at all? Okay, yeah, this is obviously older. Luxier says your words. Soldier members are being deployed in response to the simultaneous attacks that have been hitting everywhere. I'm mailing you from the helicopter that's taking me to my assignment. By the way, I just heard about what you told the rookies on your first mission after you changed your hairstyle. <laughs> Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your soldier honor. I was so moved when I heard this. It's been my personal motto ever since. I'm following you until the end, Zach. And he... Learned it from his mentor, Angeal. His late mentor, Angeal. He's just passing it on. I do wonder if Zack changing his hairstyle is supposed to be some kind of nod to Angeal, even though it's very different. I don't know. I think it's mostly just, you know... I think it's just maturity. Because he does look, like, more... Like, he looked more boyish. You know? With his older hairstyle, the one he had before this. Um... It did make him look, like, a little bit more, like, younger, I guess. He does look a little bit... Without actually being that much older, it's, I assume it's only been a few weeks or months. I mean, Aerith looks the same, so... Um, he looks a little older with this hairstyle than he does with the other one. It's, it's one of those weird things. 
There's like certain hairstyles that can give you a more youthful appearance and others that give you, you know, make you look older. That's basically what it is. Um, but he looks older in the, the sense that he looks more like experienced, like more grizzled, especially with that facial scar they added on him, which was, you know, we now know is partially Angeal's fault. Uh, when he attacked him and he like, he barely sidestepped and it grazed his cheek. But I don't know why, it, that was just a line. But then in the, you know, once he changed his hairstyle and everything, it became an X. It's like, wait a minute. Where'd the, where'd the vertical one come from, you know, that made it into an X like that? <laughs> this thing says, you're not busy, are you? I guess Soldier is in a state of utter chaos without Director Lazard. It's certainly more than the President can handle, so now he gives us Turks all the work. Just the other day, I had to cut my vacation short. Well, that last one. I guess you knew all along that I was on assignment. I'm sorry. How are you doing these days? Still smoldering, I bet. Why don't you try the beach again? You need to take a break once in a while if you want to put in quality work. Facts right there. Don't sleep on sleep, y'all. Get good sleep and the quality of your work will be exponentially uh, better. Grind culture is a lie. Don't sacrifice your sleep. You need rest and relaxation to improve the quality of your work. Never sacrifice your health for anything. Mm, cool, whatever. Um, so yeah, Sisney just admitted or let it slip that, you know, that wasn't actually a vacation when she was at the beach with us. That was her on assignment, obviously, spying on us. Same with the other Turks. The mission is available. Yeah, I know. I, I got a bunch. So far, I haven't had to stop to level up and grind. I'll mostly grind for EXP that becomes a level up later when the slot machine lets me. Um... I haven't had to stop to do that, thankfully. Hopefully we can just coast through the rest of the game without having to do that anymore. But if not, I'll have to do more off-stream grinding, I guess. Alright. Wait, what does it say? Well, that's probably the same as talking to her. See what she says? You're gathering materials, right? I'll yeah. be tending to the flowers. Oh, right, the shaggin' wagon. Okay, yeah, so, unlike last time, that's just gonna be a cutscene where we just leave. We got stuff to do. Now you behave yourself. <laughs> Relax, Zach. He's a friend. Why you gotta be like that? I mean him. Um... Probably sad that his master's dead, though. And Jill. Shit, I had something else I was gonna say and I lost it. Well, oh yeah, I remember. I, I like that we get these little slice of life. Aside from the beach, which is like a fan service slice of life sort of thing, seeing Cisne in a bikini, but... Um, these little slice of life breaks in the story with Aerith. Because it it's, you know... They're building the relationship to us, the audience. They're letting us see the kind of relationship that Zack and Aerith actually shared with each other. Since you never really get to explore any of that in the original game. Before you find out about Zack, Aerith dies. So then you can, you know, once the truth comes out, she's not there to talk to us more about him. But she's, you know, she's already dead, long dead. More of these fucks. Uh, there's more of you. Well, what are you waiting for? Damn. Well, raising your buster sword proficiency is a fucking grind. The fact that it's only gone up 0.07% means it's meant to be a long-term thing. Like you gotta play these? all the side content and grind it out a lot a to get it up. Weapon. They detect and attack monsters. Arms development deployed them. Their Midgar's anti-genesis copy measure. I the copies inside Midgar oh, wait, no, Scarlet. have mostly been eliminated by them. Hmm. Impressive. 
But then why did they attack me? What? They can't tell the difference between me and a monster? Hmm. No, not currently. <laughs> How annoying. Damn! They'll fix it eventually. By the way, Tsung, you're annoying too. You, you were spying suck. on Aerith, right? Been doing that since before what? you met her, boy. No comment. Turks take care of Turk business. <laughs> if you want to go play with Aerith, you're welcome to do so. Hey! I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm fulfilling my duties as soldier to protect. It. Hey, Mister! I heard you're making a flower wagon. Make Busted. it real fancy, so Aerith will be surprised. Wait, wait! Th this is for to protect Aerith. <laughs> hey, hey Song. Come on, dude! Uh. Bullshit! <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Let's see. The stuff we're still missing is tools, wood. Tires, instructions. First, I think we should get some tools. We might find some on the ground here. Around here, there's some perfectly useful stuff just lying around. That dude just popped into existence. You guys see that <laughs> on the right side over here? Oh, you guys can see my mouse, so I forget about that. But on the right side of the screen, that dude's arm just. Building a flower wagon. To build a flower wagon, you will need tools, wood, wheels, and instructions. Collect wagon materials in the Sector 5 slums market, Sector 5 church entrance, and Sector 8. So you can build a wonderful flower wagon for Aerith. Aww. Cute. Well, I guess this will be a fun little distraction. Hey! Found something! Yeah, let's take a closer look. Oh, this is gonna be a long chapter. This camera's all busted. Probably not in working condition. Hmm? There's a name on here. T S E N G. How do you read that? <laughs> Again, breaking the fourth wall. They realized nobody knew how to pronounce pronounce Sung's name before there was voice acting. In the original name, in the original game, everybody probably just called them to sang or sang or something like I did as a kid. I had no idea it was sung. Well, so they're making a reference to that right there, that people didn't know how to pronounce his fucking name. Also, I probably should have talked to the kid first. He's gone now. Oops. Well, there goes that. Hey, found something. What is a trooper helmet doing around here? Could it be that under this dirt? Uh, what? These are the slums, all right. But there's a dude buried here? Yeah, probably. Hey, found something. Hmm. Oh, that's a good find. It'll come in handy, I'm sure. Use tools. All right, we're getting somewhere. Good job, mister. Huh? You found some good stuff. With those <laughs> tools, you can make a flower wagon. Or even a Shinra mat. Whoa. We should Slow get some there. wood next. Something that's really sturdy. But looks kind of nice, too. Hmm. Wood, huh? Will we find some just lying around? Oh! Over in the slums market. I saw some wood near that shop. You could build a Shinra mech, he says. Like, oh, what the hold on a minute. Uh, I'm not a fucking engineer, man. In the slums market, there's some wood lying around or something. I don't remember that. He's like... Oh, excuse me. It's like, you can build a Shinra mech. Like, dude, do I look like I know how to build one of those even if I had the tools to do it? I'm a grunt. Not a scientist. Okay, so the mission is basically search for more orange glowy thingies. Shinra News. Personnel announcement 0207. This is an official notification of the change in status for the following personnel. Lazard, or Lazard, to Sericus, director of soldier, Killed in action. Well, we know that's obviously bullshit. They said the same thing about Angel and Genesis when they went missing, so. 
Hollander, science department, killed in action. Oh, shit! Yeah, the pacing of this story is pretty fucking fast. But they still found little segments to slow it down a little, at least a little bit, like here. With what we're doing with Aerith. But yeah, it still feels fast just because of how short it is. Like, when I play this on New Game Plus, before the final part of FF7 remake series or whatever comes out, we're probably just gonna zoom through it in, like, two streams, because I won't have to, you know, stop to do the side missions to level up or anything anymore be powerful enough to just do the story and we'll probably zoom through it really fast because it's such a short story all right well nothing out here so into the market oh what is this? this wood perfect for the wagon what the? Ugh, it's all moldy. You said it was perfect, uh, asshole. This wouldn't make Aerith happy. Better keep looking. I only said yes because he made it sound like we found the right piece already. I was like, oh, okay, I guess. Apparently, no. At least it doesn't... It doesn't let you take the wrong piece, though. It's not one of those kinds of minigames where it's like, let's see how well you did, and then she'll be impressed, and your reward will be based on that or something, you know? Or she'll be disgusted and be like, you didn't even fucking try, asshole. Okay, this looks better. No, this wood. Perfect for the wagon. That's the right one. Hey, hey, you. What are you doing there? Someone dropped this on the ground. Is it yours? It wasn't dropped there. It was placed. What are you up to exactly? You son of a... Well... flower wagon, eh? Right. Actually, I'm a carpenter by trade. I live in the Sector 7 slums. I came here to purchase some materials. Hmm. I feel fate's hand. I would be willing to share some of my wood with you. Really? That would be great! However, there's one condition. Currently, I'm building a a bar in the Sector 7 slums. Really? I want you to come up with a name for the place. Oh, here we go. The name of the bar? Yes. Once the name is decided, I can build a mental image. And then I can work off of that image. I've been racking my brain for a while, but I can't come up with anything stylish. Oh, that's easy. This is such a fan service. They're like, this could be a debate. I could be wrong about this, but they're like, all right, anybody who played the original game is already going to know what the hell the, the name should be, basically. Um, so you can get it right on the first try. But if this is your first FF7 game and you never played the original, you're not going to know what the answer is. Um, it's the bar that obviously becomes Tifa's, which is 7th Heaven. Um, but what happens if we give him a different name? Does he just keep, like, I'm, I'm curious to hear his responses and then until we finally hit the right one, he says, yeah, that one's good. I'm also wondering if you give him the wrong one, if the, the game just continues anyway and he's just like, ah, I think that sucks, but whatever. Like, what if this is a one-time choice? What if we can't try all of these, you know? Fuck. Problem is, it's probably gonna autosave. I don't even know when the last autosave was, so... Do I chance it and see what happens if I give a wrong answer first, or just... Fuck. Or just give him the right answer. <sighs> I might have to redo some shit if I have to reload after this, but fuck it. I want to see what he says with the other answers. I don't want to just give the obvious one. The happy turtle after the Wu-Tai delicacy. <laughs> How about the happy turtle? After the Wu-Tai delicacy. Hmm. 
featuring Wu Tai cuisine is not a bad idea, but there's already a famous happy turtle in Wu Tai. Yep. What I need is something original. This is no good. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't share my precious wood with you. Okay, we get to try the again. Name for the bar. Do you have one? Oh, that's easy. Bar del Sol, a new hot spot. Bar del Sol, the summer spot. Hmm. <laughs> a bar with that name sounds like it belongs in Costa del Sol. Yep. It has a pricey feel. Not great for the slums. This is you no good. suck. Okay, I'm skipping that line. He's gonna say that at the end every time. I'm skipping that part. Okay, now let's see what he says about the, the last one. The oh, that's easy. Starlets, in tribute to the stars. Is this Starlet, gonna? Starlet, in tribute to the stars in the sky. Cosmo Canyon reference. Hmm. You have pretty yep. good taste. Wait, I must he hasn't say. Said. But again, that wouldn't be an original. Long ago in Cosmo there it Canyon. Is. I built a bar by that same name. This Wait. Is no good. I'm afraid oh yeah, I, I think in the original game, if you read the little flyer in Cosmo Canyon, it says Starlit Inn. The inn that I stayed at in Cosmo Canyon that had the little elixir in the room. Um, Yeah, I think it was called Starlit Inn or something like that, so... Yeah, they're all references to real bars. The name for the bar. And I mean, oh, I remember the Happy Turtle being the Wu Tai bar because we had to find the, what was it, the five posters around the world for it to get the the reward from finding all the posters when you go there in Wu Tai. Um, this one I don't remember. I don't know if they ever said its name, but it's obviously the one that you know, the bar that is in Costa del Sol in the original game. Yeah, up oh, there it is. It's the only answer. Um, cool. I did want to see what he would say for the other ones. Seventh Heaven, Paradise, and Sector 7. So Tifa's bar's name literally just... Zack is the one who came up with it, and he just came up with it on a fucking whim. I... That's... Honestly, this is kind of disappointing. I was hoping they would give us, like, a real legit backstory reason for Tifa's bar's name. Not just... Yeah, Zack came up with it. That's it. Off top of his head. Seventh Heaven. Paradise in Sector 7. Like, really? Seventh Heaven. Oh. It, <clears throat> it's simple, but conceptually sound. It's like the one in... With Heaven in the name. People have to feel like they're on Cloud 9. Hey, that's not bad. Good food, good drink, and good service to boot. As if you were living above the plate. There yeah, you go. Great. And down in the basement, there will be a secret room that no one knows about. Okay, the come on, Squanix. For an anti Shinra group. Yes. A perfect <laughs> bar for the slums come indeed. Come on. Dude, bullshit. Um, you know that I'm with Soldier, right? Bruh. <laughs> uh, I let my imagination run wild. That's how much I like the name. Yes, yes, you've done well. <laughs> Very good. Oh, shit. I so, as promised, I will share my wood with you. He gave us his wood. Good job, mister. Looks like you found some wood to work with. Yeah, it's really coming together. Next, we should look for tires for the wagon. Now, mm -hmm. where can we find tires? Tires, wheels, cars? Oh, yeah, of course, that car. Hey, just hold on a minute. I was gonna say about uh, Seventh Heaven. What do you mean that car? Which car are you talking about? That it's, uh, it's funny the, well, no, I was going to say that it's funny, but just it, it's called Seventh Heaven, just like the one in Revenant's Toll in Mordona in FF14 in Eorzea. Um, I like the fan service with that, but it took me a while to realize the parallels. 
Like, not, not only did, like, at first I just kind of thought they named it. Okay, yeah, they're making a reference to FF7, to Tifa's Bar, 7th Heaven. Um, calling it that, that same exact name in FF14. But I didn't realize the parallels until very recently. Well, I think it was around the time that I started playing the original FF7 on stream, but I didn't say anything about it. It hit me, I was like, oh, this bar, like he just said, is, <laughs> has a secret room for, you know, like, Avalanche, the little anti-Shinra group. And the Seventh Heaven Bar in, in Revenant's Toll and Mordona in FF14 literally has a back room for the Scions, the main characters of that game, for the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. The, the, word, the number seven there. <laughs> the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and that becomes their base in Pulse Realm Reborn before Heavensward. Oh, okay, so the Scions of the Seventh Dawn are like the stand-in for Avalanche from this game. Like, it's, you know, just low-key fan service. There's probably so many more, like, hidden Easter eggs in FF14 that I don't even realize, like, that have just gone over my head over the years that I don't even realize connect back to some of my favorite FF games. Um, but of course, there's also a bunch that connect to games that I've only played once or watched once and didn't bother really remembering too much of them. Like, there's, I know there's a ton of FF3 references, you know? But there's probably a bunch of other references, like, more subtle references, not just, like, trial bosses and stuff like that. There's probably a bunch of other more subtle references to other Final Fantasy games um, in 14 that I've completely gone over my head. I'm sure there's YouTube videos of people talking about them, too, so... Things you may have missed, you know? One of those fucking videos, <laughs> those thumbnails. Things you may have missed in FF14. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm gonna make a backup save. <sighs> Alright, let's go. <sighs> Wait, what the fuck? Why do we have to come here? For the shagging wagon stuff? New emails. What do we got? Kunzel says falling apart. <clears throat> Those copies Hollander made that attack Shinra. Did you know that director Lazard financed Hollander with money he embezzled from the company? Oh shit. Seems revenge against the company was the motivation for both of them. I can understand Hollander wanting revenge, but why would Lazard? Yeah, I mean... I didn't even... Did I like did I miss when he just defected and this I feel like he just disappeared off screen like he didn't even When did they just like, Is there a scene that just I spaced out on like one day he was just sitting there in the office and like we talked to him And then suddenly he's just gone, but I feel like they haven't even talked about him outside of these emails Like there hasn't been any voiced Cutscene talking about Lazard disappearing or anything. So it's like well, what the hell's going on? This is what I mean about the the story moving a mile a minute, like it moves so fast you just miss shit. Um, and shit happens off screen from how fast they want it to move, like what the hell? He climbed up the ladder while he was still young, and he was always a decent guy. What could he have had against the company? I do remember him writing about ill blood in one of his mails. Speaking of climbing up, the president's son already made vice president. You think Lazard was after the, v the VP's chair? But Rufus? Luke's here, says change in chain of command. Zach, where are you? Have you heard that director Lazard passed away? He was such a good man. May he rest in peace. I wonder what's going to become of Soldier's chain of command. I'm actually a little worried about the future. Who do you think I should follow? I think you, with your sunny disposition, would be the man to look up to for leadership in these uncertain times. I'm following you until the end, Zach. Zack is pretty chipper, positive, and upbeat, and I do like that about him. But... He's a little too far in that direction. Like, he has too much of that stereotypical anime trope for that kind of character that is just kind of like, meh. Like, you know, kind of like Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Like... It's alright, but not really my cup of tea when it comes to main characters. Being that bubbly and... Just, you know, sort of carefree. That sort of personality. 
when it's too much like well for me for my standards when i when i feel like it's a little too much it kind of bores me i'm just like like it makes me roll my eyes a little bit um zach and goku are kind of that basically they like just they're over the top with their goofy wackiness you know like it's it's just it's a bit much i'm just kind of like i'm just rolling my eyes like whatever um push for wheels for the shaggin wagon at this rate we'll have to break up the fan club Aww. our fan club received funding from genesis's family to carry on our activities but suddenly we lost all contact with them and now we can't keep up with the operating costs there's no way we can carry on with our activities Genesis, I'm so sorry. If you want the fan club to continue, get a part-time job at Shinra, merge with a rich fan club, or hang in there. Yeah, merge with the, the ones that defected from you who actually did make pretty good money selling... I forgot, it was, it was a long time ago now for me because it's been like a week since that stream where we talked to the other fan club, the other Genesis one. Oh, let's see what happens. Merge with a rich fan club. Where would we find a rich fan club? Do you know? I, I do mean, happen to. We were the richest fan club in the city. Were. But now look at us. The only assets we have remaining are the leftover stock of our Benora apple jewelry. Where would we find a rich fan club? Do you know? I mean, but now. I do know. I'll go talk to her right now. She's over there. Yep, there it is. The yellow quest marker literally just lit up. I didn't talk to- I didn't check the yellow quest markers in the slums because I thought they were just to replay those stupid minigames from before. But there might have been new side quests. Shit. Wait, who the fuck- is it the kid? Hey! It is. My mom has gone missing! She left a letter saying she was going on a journey. Where did you go? Please, mom! Oh, poor kid. Wait, nothing happened. I feel like that should have said that new missions were added or something to go look for his mom, but nothing happened. Maybe that just starts a side quest that you do out here, like in the hub world. You gotta go find the kid's mom somewhere. Maybe the slums. A study group. <clears throat> Thoughts on the gift of the goddess. The gift of the goddess, the source of life, is said to bring immortality. The most widely accepted theory equates the gift of the goddess to the Benora White. There is, however, another theory which suggests that it is the planet, not any human, that becomes immortal. This suggests two other interpretations of the gift. One is an all-consuming destruction, the other is an all-healing salvation. It's like the difference between Sephiroth and Aerith, basically. The white and the black materia. Genesis believed in the latter, predicting some sort of salvation from the gift of the goddess. Reporter says investigation reveals Shinra's lies. It seems that soldier director Lazard, who was recently reported as killed in action, simply vanished instead. Sources say Lazard has been embezzling company money to fund Hollander's attack on Shinra. It is also believed that Hollander, who was held captive in Junon, has fled with Lazard's aid. An investigation has revealed that both men have Ill held ill feelings towards Shinra. This comes as a great shock to the parties involved, as members of Soldier have had the utmost confidence in Lazard. Also, why I say the story moves a mile a minute is because I feel like as soon as they introduced Angeal at the very beginning of the game, literally within the same almost the, i think it happens in the same chapter the very first chapter of the game he defects and becomes a completely different fucking person from like how they set him up in the first scene with zach where he's like talking about honor and all this stuff and it's like within seconds the dude is like suddenly just gone off the deep end and you have no idea why um that was the first moment from the beginning of the game where i was like dude why is the story like they they didn't even flesh out his character first before you know before he, the betrayal, like it, it wasn't even that much of a shock because you had no time to even get invested in the character yet. They had just introduced him. 
Like the game just starts and immediately just takes off. <laughs> it's like it barely introduces all the characters and then immediately just shit just starts happening right away. There's like no exposition uh, whatsoever. It's like two seconds of exposition then it just starts going. It's one of the reasons that... I mean, you guys might have picked up on it, but like last video, last stream, I felt bad for Zack, but I did not really choke up that much when Manjil died because I was like, dude, we barely fucking knew him. Like, he <laughs> they barely even established him as a character before he, he suddenly betrays you and then he goes back to your side, then he fights you again, and then he's dead. It's like, they just, like, that's what I mean by the game moving too fast. Like, it doesn't even give you a chance to really get to know any of the characters before suddenly shit just goes down like lazard is another example it's just like granted he's probably more of a minor side character like hollander kind of sort of yeah i mean the main characters are basically genesis and Jill, zach and sephiroth um but still it's just it's yeah it just moves way too fast here's the intel on spy number two this one oh right this guy of... yeah continuation of that last side quest that i didn't bother with because i don't care <clears throat> hey the other fan club needs your help. You can gloat to your twin over there because you look the same. You have the same character model. You can gloat to your twin over there that you guys are the richer fan club now. And you did better after you split off of them. Very soon, the Loveless Study Group will become the official Genesis fan club. Mm -hmm. The days when you we happy? were given dirty looks and couldn't even recruit new members. Those days are finally coming to an end. You know... That other fan club is having money problems right now. I don't care. Damn. We had financial problems at one time, but they didn't lift a finger to help us. That's true. Well, they said if you agree to merge, they'll give you apple jewelry. They have lots. <laughs> apple jewelry? Honor apples. Honor whites. Very well. If they're willing to go that far, then that's enough to bring us to the table. Don't misunderstand. I'm not selling out for jewelry. I was just profoundly moved by your passion. Oh, shit! Sure. Don't misunderstand. I'm not the <laughs> negotiate. Oh, Don't she didn't say something I'm extra. What? The negotiations are leaning towards merging the Genesis fan clubs. I remember how proud she was the last time we talked to her, right? About the fact that they, they made way more money than the other fan club when they, uh... What did they sell instead of, um... Instead of selling merchandise like the one that went broke. They did something else when Genesis' death had first been announced. I forgot what it was. Anyway, let's see what she says now. The study group has proposed a merger with us. Mm -hmm. If the talks go as planned, we can continue running our fan club activities. Yay! I heard you played a big part in this. Thank you! I'll recommend that you be made an honorary member of the club. <laughs> I mean, I was already part of the club, but sure, thanks. The study group has if the talks okay. I heard thing. I'm gonna go back to the slums real quick to see if any of those yellow quest markers were new quests that I just thought were probably mini games that we already did. See, I don't mind doing these kinds of side quests on stream because they actually have like a little bit of a story to them and they're not just, you know more of the same combat over and over with just slightly different monsters every time like the missions that person that walked by nope not you you can also get to the sector one station from this exit if you want if you take the train you can go to sector eight if you want to go shopping i recommend loveless avenue more than the slums market probably a clue for the wagon thing but hold on is it you this is a minigame thing. I heard that you Shinra soldier guys are trying hard to get rid of the monsters. Mm. I guess that's how this friend of mine was able to get out of Midgar. Safe and sound. My friend is amazing. He travels around the world, looking for rare items and stuff. He keeps a record of his travel, <sighs> which he calls his struggle log. It's the funniest thing I've ever read. The struggle log. Not a challenge log? Damn it. Stupid delivery service. There's materia missing. Oh, okay. See, this is just the same bullshit again. Okay. 
It's nothing new, just the same stupid minigame. Hey, step right up, we Same thing. No, All just right. no. Okay, so that, that's it. It was just that little girl. What about out there? This prick. That's great news. You'd better thank that soldier guy, huh? Dylan! Yeah! So this uncle of yours, what's he Son like? Son of a bitch. Uncle always wears really nice clothes. He's stylish. His house is up in Wall Market. Inside his house, everything's all shiny and golden. He told me that his job is being a Don. Corneo? A Don? That's a strange job name. He's a pimp. So the guy we saved is the, is the dude who becomes fucking Don Corneo. Seriously? The thing is, I never met anyone while doing the side missions. The person that I saved, quote unquote, you don't actually get to meet him or see him. I guess they didn't want to give away who it was. But yeah, when you do the mission that gets unlocked when she when you first accept this quest from her from last time we were here, um, yeah, there was no cutscene. I would have, you know, I would have saved the recording and then showed it like I did with the Yuffie ones. But there was nothing like that. Uncle lives in a shiny golden house. His job is being a don. He's nice to girls and he's very handsome. Oh, I'm sure he is, because he's seducing and brainwashing them into becoming hookers for him. Um. <clears throat> being called a Don, I mean, that's basically a euphemistic, euphemistic title for a pimp, essentially. At least in this context, it definitely is. Okay, there's nothing new here. No yellow side quests. Wheels for the wagon in Sector 8. Okay. Well... I'll go back to Sector 8, but I gotta take a break, so. Sector 1 station platform. Wait, who's this? I didn't miss- I missed this one. Hey, you! Your kid was looking for you! Oh! Don't try to stop me. I've decided that I'm going to search for Angeal. Oh, for fuck's what sake, saying? lady. What about your kid? Yeah, what the fuck? Jesus <sighs> Christ. If Angeal was here right now, what do you think he'd say? <laughs> the kid's a little more important, but just a little. <laughs> this answer <laughs> says... This is obviously also a meme answer. It's pretty obvious the correct one. A mother without honor is nothing but a monster. No, nothing but a monster? That's what You're he would right. say. If Angeal were here, he might say something like that. No cap. Yep. You've got a good son. He's lonely all the time, but he's more worried about you. Yes. I do know about that. Go home and raise your kid to be a great man like Angeal. Hmm. You're right, of course. There. Had to talk to talk some sense into that chick. Holy shit! Vector Eight Fountain. All right, I'll turn in this quest real quick with the kid down there, and then I'll take a break and we can continue looking for the shagging wagon wheels. Yeah, here we go. I realized that for mom to be the mom I know, we needed that fan club to keep going. So that's why I decided to help mom with her fan activities. That way, I could be around her all the time. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> yeah, having a common interest as a hobby can bring people together, definitely. I just hope you don't get bored or anything. You gotta have a passion for that activity yourself, otherwise it won't really help in the long run. 
You can't just fake it. My son told me we should bring back the fan club for my own good. From now on, Keepers of Honor will be run by me and my boy. To thank you, I'm going to make you an honorary member of our club. Hope we'll see you around. All right, so now I'm an honorary member of fan club savior. I like that. Because I saved both fan clubs from total annihilation. My son told me from now on to thank you. Hope we'll see you. Yeah, your son recognized how much of an angel simp you are and realized the only way he could stay around you and get you to be a good mom is to help feed your simpness <laughs> for Angeal. Who's actually dead now. That's no longer fake news. Yeah, the game has to refuse to tell us where the wagon wheels are in this area. Well, I'll probably just look it up in a guide when I get back because... I don't want to just wander around and not know where to go and spend too long here. This will be a good view to leave you guys on, though. Fountain. Um. Make it a little scenic, like. Oh, dude, the camera's so slippery. That was a character movement. It's floaty. Yeah, I'll leave it like this. Alright, I'll be back in about, um. 5 10 minutes or something like that. Where's the button? Oh, there it is. That one and that one, and there we go. Alright, BRB. Bruh. Alright, I'm back. Um, Alright, let's look up where the hell this shagging wagon wheel is. Here, we're on chapter 6, right? Let me pull up the table of contents on this guide. Where are you? Ooh. Most of the optional missions can be cleared at this point. But it's better to wait till all possible missions in this chapter are unlocked. Okay, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I just want the MSQ. Is this the chapter after? Let me keep scrolling through this. Hold on, we just saved. But I think even if you just pause, it says, right? Oops, I haven't turned on the controller yet. What chapter are we actually on? Last time I saved? Well, chapter 7, not 6. Okay. Protect your honor. Costa del Sol, where Zack is having his vacation. Mm -hmm. The Junon stuff. General's tank. Yada yada. The scorpion. Another loveless poem concludes this chapter. No, yeah, see, we're on chapter... 8, apparently. But yet our autosave says 7. How old is the autosave? I even our... I just saw it. Even our latest manual save says 7, but for some reason... <sighs> chapter 8, the end of Genesis, is the shortest chapter in the game outside of chapter 1. And the only chapter without fighting any boss. Thanks for the spoiler. Whatever, though. As usual, more missions have been unlocked. You can clear them if you want. Okay, yeah. Now what he's describing in the story is what we just saw. Okay, good. Build a flower wagon. Finally. So apparently, in the original PSP game, this is supposed to be chapter 8. But for some reason, for us, it still says chapter 7. Something's weird here. Church entrance, Plums Market, Loveless Avenue, Worn Tires. Ah, good. I don't even have to read what he said because he also puts images. It's an HTML guide. This is why I love those. Because he just has the actual screenshots of in-game images in here. And he puts screenshots of these maps like this. The tires are actually where that yellow quest marker is. It's not the yellow quest marker. That's just the guy with the... Um, talking about the fucking... 
what's it called? Um, the Wu Tai Spy, I believe. Pirates are from this guy. Hey, there we go. What do you say, my man? How about this ride? Pretty hot, right? <laughs> Actually, sure. I'm collecting materials to make a wagon, and I sort of have a favor to ask you. <sighs> a favor? So let me see. There's this Aerith girl, and you want to put together a flower wagon for her. Ah, young love. All right then, my man, take these. Worn tires times one. Those tires are from my secret stock. They can withstand up to 140 mph. Holy you can shit! I'll be rooting for you, my man. For wagon wheels, that's some overtuned oh, shit. Mister, that's Not great. Much. You found some good tires. What a relief. Lastly, the instructions. I mean, who'd know how to build a wagon without instructions, right? Thank you, yes. <laughs> and I've already got a book with instructions on me. What? Why are you staring? I didn't steal it. Come on, dude. Mm. Bullshit. Hmm? Hmm? Wait, what? It's gone. What? Gone! Oh no! I must have dropped it! You suck! Oh man! I put it in my carrying case because I knew it was important! Carrying case? A Shinra Trooper helmet! I found it a long time ago! A Shinra Trooper helmet? Didn't I see one recently? Hey, when you dropped it... Wow, gone already. What the fuck? Dude, <laughs> he just did an Ultra Instinct or Instant Transmission fucking out of there, dude. He's out, he's gone. Holy shit. Okay, back to the game pack. Where do we go? I don't give a shit. Um... The Shinra army mask. Oh, the helmet we found back at the church entrance? Okay. And then just go to Aerith. Alright. Go then. All the way back to the church. I wonder, can I go to the Shinra building right now? Or am I not allowed to? Oh, looks like I am. See if I can get an item from that little locker. Oh, they're actually playing the Shinra theme music now. I can't take all the way up. Down. There it is. Could just be nostalgia. But I feel like it this song It's very good it's very uh faithful to the original version. Um Now I'm mostly talking about the faithful the original version, sorry. But even the the remakes of this song, like this one here, and the versions that play in like FF7 Remake. Again, could just be nostalgia talking, but it has a bit of a creepy factor to it. And again, and I say it could be nostalgia because that's just what I felt as a kid. Very imposing theme song. Um, because you know people will also say that about like songs they heard in like horror video games, like Resident Evil games and stuff. Um. The older ones it could just be the fact that that low-key trauma in our brain <laughs> reminding us of what we felt back when we first played these games back then you know is why we still kind of find those soundtracks to be unsettling whereas somebody born a lot later in life or like even you know just within just a few years ago might just hear those songs and be like whatever you know <laughs> like it'll, it'll just they'll just brush it off like i don't think there's anything eerie about it um, yeah, like, I think it's nostalgia bias, but eh, who knows? So yeah, I, f I felt as a kid that there was an eerie factor to this song because it's very imposing, right? Like, you listen to it, and it's just very, like, the tyrannical rule of the Shinra company, right? 
But also, my brain associated it with what happens in the Shinra building the first time you're there. <laughs> Which I've already talked about that a lot when we played the original game. Um, the fucking slaughter with the blood trail and everything. Soldier floor. Let's see if the locker has something. Oh. Ooh, I can't remember. Is it this one? The briefing room? Yes. Print shoes. I glanced like a sentence or two ahead of the guide and it seems like the main story is going to bring us back here anyway and we could have gotten that later. You don't have to get it now. I wanted to be sure though. Alright, let's get the fuck back out of here. Because I saw sprint shoes in bold in the guide so I was like... This isn't the way to the church. What the fuck am I doing? I zoned out. I legit was just like, whatever. Close to my bedtime. Give me a break, all right? There it is. So could his carrying case be this helmet? <laughs> something inside how to build a wagon there it is oh! mister those are the instructions i dropped son of a bitch so this is where i dropped it <sighs> thank goodness you found it mm -hmm. why would you put something so valuable in a thing like this <sighs> because no one would ever think there's treasure stuffed inside a Shinra helmet. That's that is something good thinking. we call street smarts in the slums. <laughs> now, it looks like we've got everything we need. Aerith might start getting impatient, mister. All right, I'm out of here. Huh? You're not coming with me? <laughs> I know when to give people privacy. The kid knows. He's not that innocent. Let's collect materials again soon. If we look throughout Midgar, we might find all kinds of different stuff. See ya! Alright. Bye. Alright. I should go. I've been keeping Aerith waiting too long. He's right, too. Yeah, I've been gone for a minute. Welcome back, Zack. Looks like you got the materials. Yeah. Okay, let's start making the wagon. Use tools, old lumber, worn tires, how to build a wagon. I've all been given to Aerith. They're sawing wood. Wow, it looks really good. The materials are matching perfectly. He knows how to saw some wood. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll stop. Not quite <laughs> so what I expected. Really? I think it's fine. It's all about the flowers anyway. <laughs> I want a nicer one. Wow. Stop being so picky. Such high standards That's for this little slum little flower girl. That's all. They're tiny, but 
You have lots, right? That's right. Wanna hear? Uh, how many you got? Hmm... Twenty-three? Write them down, so I don't forget. Hmm. There are new developments. What? Headquarters, now. <sighs> Work stuff? Sadly. Here. <laughs> Legions of Cute. monsters have spawned near a regional Mako reactor. The workers have all gone missing. Is this the Nibelheim soldier incident? soldier operatives have also vanished. The company is dispatching additional operatives to investigate the matter. You and I, that is. Roger that. What's wrong? So moody. Well, you know. I thought you found something out about that other matter. The missing operatives were the ones tracking Lazar. Huh? Also, they have reported a strange pod-like device in the area. Is that Hollanders? Probably the same device that was stolen in Odeoheim. Meaning? Lazar, Hollander. And Genesis? We'll have to go see them. Mm. Let's go. First, go to the soldier floor. We'll depart as soon as you and the rest of the men are ready to go. Understood. Our orders are to investigate the reactor. Mm -hmm. They mention nothing of... old friends. Depending on what happens, I may abandon Shinra. Damn. Until then, I'll remain loyal to Soldier. Dylan! You son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, no one's coming. Hey, Zach. I heard you're going on a new assignment with Sephiroth. I'm being sent to Fort Condor to inspect the reactor. I guess... It's goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye, huh? Huh? Does saying goodbye to me make you that sad? <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I'm glad I get to choose this. I'm sad because I love you, man! Well, Dylan. isn't that sweet. But come <laughs> on now. You it's that girl in the slums bitch. you're thinking of. Damn, he knows! Hey. You still have time, right? Go see her before you leave. He fucking Don't knew. Worry he read about me. It. I'll explain everything to Sephiroth for you. Well, thanks, man. See, he is a bro. See, we are heading to Nibelheim, and that is why, again, the game is setting us. It's you know making this whole thing be like, oh, I guess this is you know actually goodbye. Yeah. Oh, that explains why the game fact I, I didn't pay too much attention to it, but it said earlier, make sure to get all your side quests done in this area now. Because you won't have a chance anymore later. This is our last time in Midgar. We're heading to Nibelheim where we know how things turn out after the original game. We're not coming back here. Ever. So we're actually gonna go say goodbye to Eris, like, permanently. Damn. Yeah, that is why, yeah, okay. That is why they're setting it up like that. Cause like, you know, like, what I mean is the way they're making such a big deal about him saying goodbye to Aerith before he leaves for this next assignment. And then this guy saying, I guess this is goodbye. Making it sound like it's going to be permanent. Because he's going to Fort Condor and we're going to Nibelheim. But it's like, you know. We'll see each other when we get back from those missions, right? But then Sephiroth also dropped a hint that he may abandon Shinra. 
depending on what happens because of the whole thing with Genesis. Hey, you still have time, right? Okay. Um. So, of course, you know, we know from playing the original game that's not the reason he ends up leaving. It has nothing to do with Genesis. It's not supposed to, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I'll shut up. Remember what I said last stream, though. Hey, what does this guy say? Oh, right, a bunch of new yellow quest markers. Right. Oops. Let me start from the soldier floor. This may- this is obviously my last chance to get side quests, so... Including, um... Missions I can grind off-stream if I have to. Hopefully I won't have to. Hopefully we can cruise to the end. But... I don't know. Hey! You have a Mako Stone with you already. Can you leave that with us, possibly? We can make it into Materia. Here you go. Oh yeah, if you want. Yeah, I'm not gonna... We've seen that enough. We can always count on you to come through for us, Zack. I'm happy to report to you. Our Materia's reputation has been growing as of late. So much so, in fact, that Director Scarlet, who wanted to shut us down, was humiliated at a board meeting. Oh, as it stands, shit! The Materia Room's performance is neck and neck with ARMS development now. Really, we can't thank you enough for your help, Zack. Hell yeah, dude. I'm happy to stick it to that bitch, man. Fuck her. At Both this ways. Rate, it's only a matter of time before they cancel our shutdown. Take that, Scarlet, is what I say. Exactly. Hell yeah. Fuck that bitch. Both kinds of ways. I mean, you know what I mean. <clears throat> uh, anyway, training room, right. This guy? Today we are going to test your physical fitness. Oh crap, here we go it's again. It's important that we make accurate evaluations of your abilities. So make sure you're ready. Ready for your physical fitness test? Alright, who do I gotta fight? Or is it squats again? Oh wait, is this just the, the re to repeat the squats minigame? Is that it? It is. Okay. This is just like the slums where you can just redo this minigame. Fuck off. Nothing new. Alright, now let's go to another floor. Uh... Oh yeah, but I think Zack was a little depressed when he was talking to Kunzel here, not because he's like, oh, I'm gonna be away from Aerith again. Boo-hoo. Like, you know, that's, all, that's obviously part of it. He wants to spend time with her, but I think it's also he's stressed out about the whole Sephiroth, Angeal, and Genesis situation, like, the fact that Sephiroth literally told him, confessed to him, like, I might leave Shinra, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm not down with all this shit that's going on, dude. I might say fuck all this. And so that just, yeah, that just leaves Zack in a bind because he, he just didn't picture his career going this way, you know? He wanted to stay loyal to Shinra, but at the same time, and, you know, protect his honor as soldier, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Especially now to honor his, the memory of Angeal, right? But with all this fucked up shit that's going on, it just makes Zack question things so much. Like, dude, it was not what I thought it was, you know? Like, this is such a fucking mess. Zack's world is being shattered. It already was with Angeal's death. That's why he cried so much about it, but like... He's just been so lost and confused since then, and it just isn't getting any better, you know? We never visited this room before, did we? I'm not talking to all these fools. I don't have time for that shit. Hey, buddy. Hey, you. What's a scientist doing loafing around here? You're just a doll made by the science department. Do not speak to me. You a bastard! doll? You You're saying up. soldier is a bunch of dolls? I can't let that slide, buddy. You I have nothing to say to a soldier battle drone. 
Come on now. We protect Midgar and fight the good fight all around the world. Unlike some scientist reading his research notes at his desk all day, I make real contributions. One question. Huh? Why are you here, exactly? Uh... Zack, can you talk? What's up? Have you heard? About those reports of the recent spike in monster sightings around Midgar and Calm? Yeah, I've heard. Apparently, those monsters were once held by the Shinra Science Department as study samples. Seriously? So you're saying these monsters busted out of Shinra's cages? You think they could? On their own? The Shinra building security system isn't that lax. But then... The company has decided to cover this up with a massive soldier deployment to eliminate the monsters. I'm sure you'll get the call soon, too. But for now, keep this quiet. Right. Got it. Shinra monsters, huh? What's happening to this place? See? What I just said. His world is falling apart, man. He thought Shinra was one way, and he's finding out it wasn't. Zack thought, Zach thought so highly of Shinra, and then now he's like starting to see what it, you know, what it really is. He's starting to see Shinra for what it really is, and it's bothering the hell out of him. It's tough to go through something like that, right? I still haven't used her Phoenix down, so I don't think she can give me another one. Right now, the general. How about? Nah. Alright, so that yellow marker up there is one last side quest or just a continuation of a previous one. The inspection team has arrived in Midgar without incident, sir. My comrades on the escort detail also arrived safely. I'm grateful for soldiers' support, sir. In my heart, there is only respect and admiration. That's just concluding a side quest line that I did with uh, missions. There was no cutscenes for it, otherwise I would have recorded it and shown it. You just do the missions, which is like any other mission. Just a generic, kill the monsters, pick up the items, go. Same shit, rinse and repeat as all the other missions. Um, no cutscenes, and then yeah, you guys should just talk to this guy. My comrades on the escort detail appeared quite exhausted, sir. To go from Midgar to Corel Village and then back again must have been extremely tiring. And I couldn't even tell you which mission quest line was related to any of these NPCs. But like this guy's mission quest line, I don't even know which one it was. Like that, they're all the same. Like with, if if they don't have cutscenes, like some of them do, like the Yuffie ones, there's just no way to tell them apart. I can't remember which ones, which quest line was the one for that guy. I don't know. So this is also our last chance to do the Shinra spies. Or the, the Wu Tai spies thing, which I don't care for, so we're just gonna go. Because this is our last time in Midgar, so. Oh, right! We got two Shinra news. I don't remember which one was the first one now, but again, I assume the older one is the top one. Space development report. Space Development Status Report. Shinra fully plans to establish the rocket engine as the next step in industrial development. Manned rocket Shinra number 26, you know who that is, is in full production with a projected launch within a few years. The proposed model for Shinra number 26 is on display in the exhibit room in the Shinra building. Yeah, we saw that before. Development is proceeding steadily and our pilot, Sid Highwind, has begun training. There it is. Boy, that poor fool was going to be so disappointed in a couple years with the failed launch. Analysis of the simultaneous attacks. We've determined that the simultaneous attacks on five locations, including Junon and Costa del Sol, were the criminal acts of an anti-Shinra organization. Sure. Their goal was to release a group of their own activists in Shinra captivity and display a show of force. But thanks to the quick response by soldier operatives, the situation was quickly brought under control. Even in Junon, the target of the heaviest attacks, damage was kept to a minimum. Thank you for praising me. Don't need it, but thanks. And now we begin the march towards our inevitable... Ah. 
when you already know how a game's gonna end because just because you played you know it's the problem with prequels right like <laughs> when when a prequel is made the person who played the game it's based off of already knows how more or less how it's going to end because it's a prequel that's the nature of it I'm sure there's some exceptions out there with some really good writers who can get around that, probably, but this game is not one of them. If you played the original FF7, you know how this is going to end. Genre News Budget Report After exhaustive engineering by the ARMS Development Department, prototypes of the next generation of weapons are feature complete and being tested in the slums. Once mass production becomes feasible, it would enable us to lower human resource costs by drastically cutting down on the number of personnel. Yeah. Automation equals, you know, job loss and worker displacement. Because machines are far more efficient and effective than humans at almost everything. Um, with high expectations for these new weapons, we announced the following changes to the budget. Security department, 7 billion gil, originally 10 billion, so they got cut by 3 billion. Arms development department went from 11 billion gil to 8. Interesting. The very same department that developed the automated soldiers that are going to replace the, the security guards are also having their their own budget cut by their own invention. That's ironic right there. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, those little tiny robots we fought. Yeah, they're just like a little prototype of things to come later. Even though we've already fought bigger ones in the, some of the side missions, you know, the ones that are in the original game. Um, but still, yeah. It's kind of ironic that the arms development department, which made these robots, is having their own budget cut as well from the robots that they made. <laughs> like, alright, Scarlet kind of shot herself in the foot with that one. And Heidegger is the security department, so... Both of them are losing money now. It's no wonder they're such good friends, right? Even though she just made them both lose money. She makes the weapons that his department uses, basically. Of course they're friends. <sighs> you know, those are some pretty good looking fucking wheels. Wagon wheels for being able to withstand 140 miles per hour. They look flimsy as shit. Oh. Zack, you're done with work already? No. No, I was given a big task, and I have to leave Midgar for a bit. And I'll How never see you, I mean. It's a bit. Hmm, don't know. I see. Can I call you? Of course, and don't worry. I'll be done and back in no time. Hey, can we start now? Uh, what? Filling the slums with lots of flowers. Yeah, it's looking really cute. You think people will buy? Of course. Nobody's coming. Now, now, they're coming. We just need to have a little more patience. <laughs> hmm. I think maybe the wagon isn't all that cute. Oh, a customer! You're giving up too early, see? There's somebody. Maybe. Hey, hey! You there! Need flowers? Don't be too just aggressive, you, Zach. Ten gill a pop. These are real flowers, mind you. Don't miss out. <laughs> Aerith! This customer's offering five gill. Sure. Any price is fine. No, we need to be aggressive. I'll counter with seven gill, no less. <laughs> but the customer just left. He blew you off, fool. You suck! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry, but why? I'm having a great time. Oh, look, Zach, another customer. They're really making this hurt, aren't they?
Don't worry about Aerith. Protecting the subject is part of the surveillance. You're the only one I can depend on. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you laughing? Asshole. I'm counting on you. And what does he do? He slaps her across the fucking face on a helicopter. You bastard son of a bitch! Yeah, way to keep your promise to Zach, Sung. Asshole. Oh, welcome back. You're in luck. Sephiroth hasn't arrived yet. So, will you wait for him here? Slaps her across the face and then holds her, uh... Or sorry, threatens Marlene just to get Aerith to go with with him to Shinra HQ, you know? This is, yeah, this is kind of a weird part. Like, Song already acts so nice, but then he's a complete asshole in the events after this game. To Aerith in particular and everybody else, you know? Um, but here he acts like he's, you know, gonna be like the nicest dude with her and everything. He's like, yeah, I'll look after her. It's, yeah, it's that in particular, it's just so inconsistent with that slap. When he slaps Aerith across the face when she tells Tifa that Marlene is safe, you know? Seems a little aggressive for someone who acts the way he does in this game. It's, it's a little over the top. The other Turks are consistent. You know, they're nice to us because we're on their side right now. <laughs> but like, other than that, yeah, they're pretty consistent. But Sung seems a little like... Like they made him a little too nice in this game. And it doesn't quite fit with how he acts in the next game. For the first like half of it, at least. Especially because they imply that Aerith kind of... She didn't have like romantic feelings for Sung, but like, you know, she still, she had like some feelings for him in the sense of like, she, like when he gets cut by Sephiroth and it seems like he's going to die, like she kind of cries for him a little bit, but she knew him since she was little, right? Anyway, whatever. It's just kind of nitpicking at this point. It's like, like even if what I'm saying is valid, it's like, who cares? Like, <laughs> let's just move on. What? What should I do? There's no going back beyond this point. Make sure that you have no unfinished business left, such as uncompleted missions. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I just want to do the main story, dude. Who cares? I've done Thanks no for everything. I'll be back in Midgar before you know it. I'll see you around. Yeah. See ya. Well, the alternate timeline they set up at the end of FF7 remake. Sure. But not What's in this up? timeline. I'm you ain't coming back. I'm having a little trouble. <laughs> rounding up the group. We're in a hurry. Let's move it. Sir. What? Cloud? Together again, huh? All Dylan! Right. Thanks. Oh! Son of a Hold on. Bitch. I'll get everyone. If I knew they were gonna bump fists like that, I would have done that sooner. Where's your helmet, asshole? He's so short compared to the other two guys. Odd is pretty scrawny. He is By 16, way, though. Where are we going? To Nibelheim. The dramatic fucking turnaround. Because they're basically saying, they're basically Square Enix is like, if you haven't figured out what's going to happen next, well, here it is, and we're putting it in the most ominous way possible. You know, because you know what's again, this was obviously made for people who played the original game. So that's meant to be a <gasps> moment. You know, that's why it was so dramatic. The slow turnaround and then it's staring right at the player's eyes and saying to Nibelheim. That's where the player is supposed to freak out and be like. Because, you know, shit's about to go downhill fast. Not like it hasn't been going downhill for a while in this storyline, though. It'd be more shocking if things were more chill before this point, but they haven't been.
This game has no chill. This is moving hella fucking fast. <laughs> Here so, we are. How does it feel? Oh, where's the truck scene, man? With the dragon? To be home after all this time. I have no hometown. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Literally reading the original script. Uh, what about family? My mother's name is Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... <laughs> Literally. Why am I this, talking about this? This is faithful to the original dialogue. Come on, let's go. The only part that they kind of... Him saying, how does it feel to be back in the, you know, your hometown? He's obviously not talking to Zach when he Sephiroth's said that. Sephiroth's mother's name is... Genova? Hmm? Yeah, that should ring a bell with Angeal and Genesis and all that shit. Um... But yeah, he's talking to Cloud when he says that. But obviously Cloud doesn't respond. Because he knows this isn't Zack's hometown. And Cloud's brain right now is just memorizing all this shit. From where he is over here. And then he's gonna insert himself into where Zack is in, in the memory, you know? All set, getting set Don't up. Don't get in trouble for snooping around. Watch duty's just so boring. I was gonna say, where's the part where you, you wanna practice the usual? You wanna practice? Practice? Oh, you mean posing. Soldier always has to be mindful of their public image, right? How was it? Oh yeah. Like this? <laughs> You're getting good. <laughs> I don't really want to join Soldier. It's like it's so much work. The pose. Dude, the fan service is off the fucking charts right now. The fact that they remade these scenes from the original game for this game is pretty fucking cool. You'll get in trouble. So Cloud's the one who said that? <laughs> now we know which of the two soldiers is the... Uh, his cloud in the Nibelheim flashback. When he talks about snooping around. You guys came to investigate this town, right? There's a lot of strange things you can find in this town. We like to call them the town's seven wonders. Are you guys interested at all? Sure. If you're interested, look into it. Are they actually wonders or are they hoaxes? The first wonder is, lately, the town's drinking water has sometimes been coming out red. Could it be... blood? <sighs> Ooh, scary! That can't be right. Can it? If you learn the truth about this wonder, please tell me. Any progress yet on the wonder? The first wonder lately... Oh. Ooh, if you learn... Hope it's not Chris's blood. I, I, if there's no clear quest marker, I'm not bothering with it. Like, I'll only do the side quest where it tells you exactly where to go. I'm not going to bother with this shit. Um, otherwise, yeah, fuck it. Oh. Are you one of the soldier people? Hmm? Tifa! Yeah, Zack, a soldier. First class, mind you. Hmm. She hasn't come into her own yet hmm. here, of what? course, because, you know, like Cloud, she's... Are there a lot of you? Uh... He's First 15, classes? I believe. We're a select few. Only two of you this time? Yeah, me and Sephiroth. He's wondering where Cloud is. Uh-huh. Yep, there it is. Uh, well. He has no idea Cloud never made it into Soldier. There she goes. Poor Tifa. Hey, she wanted to oh, ask. God. That's why she reached out like that, because she was so close to just being like, do you know someone named Cloud? Like, you know, but nothing. And he's over here, and he just watched. He's too embarrassed to show his face to her. You'll get in trouble. It's like a soap opera, man. There's so many instances in this whole story where, like, if something tiny had just been different, none of this would have happened. Like, if, if Cloud had just not been so embarrassed and he said, Hi, Tifa, I'm right here, and I never made it into Soldier, I'm just a security guard or whatever. Like, 
everything would have turned out very differently. This whole story could have... It's the butterfly effect. Literally. Is this how you check the water supply for blood or what? Yep. There's a red materia here. Did the color seep out of it? Is that even... Huh. Is yeah, that, that. Even possible? Phoenix! Oh. Rebirth flame. Well, I figured it out, kid. Huh? A materia in the water supply? Aw, that's not very exciting. Oh, well... But listen. This next wonder has to be real. I'm getting goosebumps all over just thinking about it. Before I tell you. Have you seen the painting of the girl on the second floor of the inn? Not yet, but this sounds interesting. Well, can you go take a look? Second floor of the inn. Hanging on the wall opposite the bed. How I remembered that Tifa was 15, just now that we met her, is when I looked up the ages during the original playthrough, where I saw that Yuffie was 16 instead of 18 like I thought, um, I also saw that basically Tifa, Cloud, and Aerith are all one year apart of each other. So Tifa's one year younger than Cloud, and Aerith's one year older than Cloud. So, since Cloud is 21, well that means she's 20, Aerith is 22, and then this is five years before that, so subtract five from all their ages. So Cloud's 16, Tifa's 15, and Aerith is 17. Yeah. I think I fucked up earlier and I said she was 16, but that's because, you know, I hadn't done that full... Everything I just said, I was just kind of like guesstimating and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, right now Aerith's 17. Still no Zack's age at this point. Oh. Not like he exists in the present day, right? Um. But he dies during the, yeah. Hey, it's not like he dies at this, yeah, no, he dies in five years from now, right before FF7's events happen. Yeah. Go see the picture. Yeah, I don't know his age. We depart for the reactor at dawn. Retire early today. We only need one on watch. Get some rest, men. Oh, that's right. Go visit friends and family, if you wish. Mostly talking to Cloud, obviously. Nibelheim. Huh. Why is your helmet still on? It's personal. What a weirdo. <laughs> Thank you, Zach, for calling him out. Getting nervous. Oh, so Cloud's the one that you... Okay. I remember talking to this soldier in the Nibelheim flashback in the original game. So Cloud's this guy. I got it. Hey, why? You never know when monsters will appear, right? <laughs> that it? Oh, Nervous? That's I'm right. excited. Don't miss your chance to be a hero. <laughs> the same exact response. I love how loyal it is to the original game, dude. The dialogue right now. Is this guy gonna tell me he wants a picture of Sephiroth and not me because I'm nobody? I heard that the hero Sephiroth was coming, so I've been waiting here all day with my camera. I want to take a picture of Sephiroth fighting a monster. Take a picture of me then. I have no interest in taking pictures of minor figures. You bastard son of a- Damn, the faithfulness ended there. He, he was supposed to say, I don't want to take a picture of a nobody or something like that. Instead he said minor figures. I mean, it's the same sentiment, but still. I would have liked it better if he actually said a nobody, you know? <laughs> I don't take pictures with nobodies. All right, the, the painting. You may visit friends and family if you wish. We're basically doing the Nibelheim flashback at the calm in now, which means I'm actually curious. Um, Rebirth. A, a demo came out of it like a month before it came out. And unfortunately, I couldn't avoid seeing some thumbnails of people playing it, and I saw that the calm flashback. These buildings look very familiar to the, some of the thumbnails I saw, so I saw that the, you know, 
I'm pretty much certain the calm flashback happens at the in the demo, which is likely the beginning of the game, obviously. Um, based on how... What was it? Uh, episode Integrate ended. The Yuffie episode for Remake. So now I'm really wondering how much of the Calm flashback and Rebirth when we get there is gonna resemble everything I'm doing right now. I'll have to memorize this video, like the number, the part for this is part six, right? For, yeah. I'll have to come back to this video just to see when we get there. Re Rebirth, or Remake will fly by because I will be doing that with New Game Plus. I still have my save file from years ago. Um, which I like a hundred percented. I got everything so We're just gonna zoom through that So like once we're past this game remake will just be like It'll just I can't obviously it's still a long game, but like <laughs> I will do all the side quests But still being able to almost one-shot everything especially at the beginning of the game is gonna make it go pretty fast Cloud says I wanted to tell you We've been on a few missions together, and there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I was thinking about telling you once we were in my hometown, but it's a little embarrassing, so I'm gonna write it out and send it to you. Are you confessing your love? What is this, man? The day you changed your hair, when you wished us rookies good luck before our sortie, I'll never forget your words. Remembering what you said that day gives me the courage to stay strong. So, thanks, Zack. Where you said protect your honor as soldier and all that? There was something else. But yeah, I, I know what scene he's talking about. It's right after you kill Angeal. Well, we motivated Cloud quite a bit. That's good. <gasps> he definitely won't, uh... Won't forget those words for sure. Where's Zengen? Tifa's a uh, martial arts instructor. He should be standing right here. Good day, sir. Welcome. Okay, so the second... Second floor painting... It's like the original game, talking to Sephiroth will make the story move forward, so I'm not gonna do that. We're short one bed, right? Oh no, we actually have three beds this time! Oh wait, hold on. Sephiroth. Oh, okay, no, yeah, we are short one bed. It was three beds in the original, too, and there's four of us. Oops. I forgot the generic other soldier. I only remembered Cloud. <laughs> it's a sad painting. And also kind of eerie. Definitely. Okay. Let's go talk to the kid. Um. Yeah, it's just one of those things, like... Like, I know Cloud's a generic stormtrooper right now, too, but the other guy's even more generic because he's actually not a main character, unlike Cloud. Watch, dude, he's just so boring. This again? You want to practice? Practice? Okay. Soldier? I don't want to be mean, so. Like this? You're getting. You know. Do you still say the same shit? Yeah, he does. You never. All right, kid, I saw the painting, yeah. It's cute, but also kind of eerie, don't you think? So the second wonder is, that girl sometimes leaves the painting and wanders around in our world. What? Oh, scary. Oh, way too scary. Actually, though, yeah. Any progress yet on the wonder? So the second wonder, that girl... Ooh. Wait, you want me to go back and see if she's not, if she's there? Or not there anymore or something? Didn't know this was gonna turn into a horror game suddenly. Fatal frame over here. Oh, <gasps> she's actually gone, dude. Yeah. It's true. The girl vanished. What? What? What the fuck? Yeah. It's true. Okay, he's just. Now she's wandering around our world. I gotta look for a little girl. And then tell her to get back into painting or what? I'll talk to the kid again just to see what he says, but... Any progress yet on... So the sick that... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta go find the little girl now. What's this guy doing over here? I heard that the hero... I oh. wanted... 
I'm going to miss the decisive moment. Telling, telling him to get back inside just okay. Um, damn. Well, now it becomes a fetch quest of finding her wherever she is. I was gonna explore the rest of the town anyway, so for now it works. But I won't go out of my way. Like, if I don't find her, I don't find her. While I check the rest of the town. Okay, so let's see how much of the geography is faithful. We got the inn there, the general store. We're in the wild, the old west over here. Um, that's Tifa's house, and that should be Cloud's house right next to it. This little one here. We welcome the Shinra army. Not for long, you won't. Well, I mean, you're gonna die, so I guess. Anyway. Nibelheim outskirts. What's this other new zone over here? Oh, also outskirts. I see. Either one. Oh, so this is new. Are there encounters out here? I feel like there's gonna be monsters. I fucking knew it. God damn it. Heather. There's a fork in the mountain trail, and one path leads to a dead end where a strange bomb appears. Like the one I just killed right in front of you? Kind of? Little girl from the painting, you out here? Where else could she be? There wasn't really much to explore back in town. Okay, let's just... I mean, I know we have to work our way back anyway, so I might as well see how far I can go. Mount Nebel. This leads to the reactor we're here to investigate. I wonder how far they'll let me go Activating before I'm forced to turn back. Hey, get back here, you prick. Oh, yeah. There's a reactor. Oh yeah! Ooh. Ooh. What the hell are these guys doing? Admiring a Mako fountain? I made it all the way here without running into a single monster. But now I have to go home. So maybe I'll tell you the rumor about the Wonder Bomb. If you can stop all of them from exploding, they say you get something very nice. My dad's always telling me that I can't come here without a grown-up. But we're talking about one of the seven wonders I had to come here. The wonder bomb will keep growing bigger, but when you hit it, it gets a bit smaller. Oh, it's a DPS check. Figures. I came all this way to find the Wonder Bomb, but I'm done. But still, I got some valuable info. What you do is hit the ones that are about to explode. Good to know. What were you planning to do if you found it? You can't fight. You don't even have a weapon. Activating combat mode. Ah! I mean, I was expecting somebody to hit me. He's getting bigger. Conflict resolved. Frick. Oh yeah. Activating combat mode. Hey. hey. Resolved. Hey, the game is allowing me to level up. Activating combat 
based off all my backlogged experience points. No, don't! I was forgetting which button was to, uh... Like, change targets or something, so I accidentally used a potion. <laughs> there. Well, that wasn't too hard. Gold shard. I got the wonder bomb. Is it like the wonder bonus? You guys may think that was like a... In poor taste or something, like a, you know, fucking gotcha oh, yeah. joke or something in poor taste, but that's actually a real product, but that was the thing. Um... This is, there's a legit product called... Well, I don't know if it's still in production now, but... There's a legitimately a product called the Wonder Boner, and it was meant to be a easy... a tool to make it easy to debone fish. So it was made for people who fish, obviously. Oh, yeah. Then they legitimately decided to call it the Wonder Boner. It was advertised. The commercial was done by Activating the dude who did Dirty mode. Jobs. I know it's an old reference at this point, but I know he also became kind of a pretty big deal celebrity for a lot of people. So I know somebody might recognize his name. Mike Rowe, I think his name was. Who did that TV show Dirty Jobs on Discovery Channel. Activating combat I mean. mode. I remember hearing about that show as a kid, but I, I think I only watched part of like one episode one time. I didn't think it would blow up as much as it did. Like it gained like the cult following that I got, but yeah, it did. I guess the dude was actually pretty, uh, he was pretty entertaining, I guess. He has his own, uh, quite a big fan base. Activating combat mode. Oh yeah! Activating combat mode. Bring it on! It's weird. In other Final Fantasy games, bombs will actually grow bigger and threaten to explode the more you hit them. You're supposed to like use ice or something else against them. But in this game, it's the opposite. The more you hit them, the less likely they'll explode. Activating combat mode. Or maybe it was just for that one battle against the Wonder Bomb, right? Oh yeah! I don't know. That's it. Obviously, we can't go in. This is what we're here for, but you can't break the sequence of events. We gotta talk to Sephiroth first and move the plot forward as it's supposed to before coming here. Activating combat mode. Yeah, it's nice they let you come here anyway, though. Oh, yeah. Out of order, just so that you can, like, grind free XP if you need it or something. As if the missions won't give you enough, Activating you just hit those. Oh yeah! Activating combat mode. It is a funny coincidence that we're playing this game not long after the Armored Core Marathon, where we heard activating combat mode oh, yeah. <laughs> over and over. System activating combat mode or combat mode engaged, depending on the computer part. The head part for your AC, the computer would say it a little different. Activating combat mode. Yeah. 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 FF7 and Armored Core yeah. 1 both came out in the same year, I think. Conflict oh, yeah. 1996 or 7? Activating combat mode. Take that. The very first Resident Evil game came out in 1996. 
conflict resolved. So its story takes place in 98. Funny how many games came out so close to each other that went on to spawn these huge franchises that are still around today. <laughs> They've withstood the test of time. FF7, of course, you know, that that's just, you know, that was already a franchise that had been around since the NES days. <sighs> well, that one doesn't really count. But, 7 was the first one to make Final Fantasy go mainstream though, so that's count that counts for something. It was kind of a niche game before that. A niche franchise, sorry. Final Fantasy, I mean. Seven's the one that put it on the map. Activating combat mode. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah! New mail from reporter. Out on the trail of the missing pod. The fuck is this? I'd received word of recent activity in Maldeoheim. The area was once a candidate for Mako excavation, but now it's nothing but a deserted village. This reporter actually found a piece of equipment, a pod to be exact, used in the experiments. When I revisited the facility at a later date for a more thorough investigation, the equipment was gone. A full-scale effort to follow the pod's trail revealed that it made a stop at Nibelheim before it was carried to another location. Wait a minute. Are they talking about a pod holding Genova? Is that what was in Modeoheim? If that's true, it's starting to make a lot more sense why it was destroyed and abandoned and those phone messages we heard. Which some of them were just talking about a package which just happened to be a stupid power wrist we found once we listened to all of them. But obviously some of them were alluding to something shady it went down there. Well that would explain why Genesis went there then. I was trying to see if there was remnants, you know, of Genova to get some Genova cells to restore himself, I guess. Okay, so yeah, that explains it. So my theory based on this is that they had Genova in Modeoheim because the northern crater exists because of Genova. That's where Genova crash landed from outer space before the ancients sealed her away. So obviously the ancients sealed her away somewhere close to there. Modeoheim was by Icicle Inn, close to the, nor the northern crater where Genova crash landed. So, so yeah, that's the reason. Maybe that's where Shinra first discover Genova and they just kept her there while using her cells for experiments to create Genesis, Sephiroth, and Angeal. And then in around this time, as we're seeing here, they decided to move her to the Nibelheim reactor where we're gonna discover her soon and Sephiroth will freak the fuck out. Okay, yeah, this is starting to add up. Activating combat mode. New mail from Sister. Yes! Conflict resolved. The end. Oh yeah. This the entrance to the Shinra Manor here, the Shinra Mansion. Ro this looks almost like a copy paste from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, while well, the 3D one, the remake for PS2, called Re Chain of Memories. Um, the mansion in Twilight Town, the entrance for it in that game in particular, not the one, not Kingdom Hearts 2 or 350 and a half days. In the re-chain of memories, when you reach the door, the room in the castle that leads you to the front of the, the fucking mansion, the front of the mansion looks exactly like this. It's just like the exact spot, except instead of grass, there's dirt. But the layout is exactly the same. Like, I will come back to this, to this video, just to prove that point the day I finally stream Kingdom Hearts. Might not be further than... Might not be as far as most might think, but, um... Because it looks just like it, this area. This name says, when you come back... Badge, we're not coming back. Are you in Nibelheim about now? I've got business in another freezing locale myself. By the way, I couldn't help but notice that you were reading Loveless while you were in Costa del Sol. That was Genesis's favorite work, wasn't it? 
So have you finished it yet? I bet you got bored of it in the middle and just tossed it away. But there's a stage production of Loveless now playing in Midgar. Let's go see it when you get back. Who knows? It might just give you the hint you're looking for. Are you asking me out on a date since me? Get the side bay, don't get carried away, alright? Aerith's the main girl. I didn't think we could go in. Maybe the little girl from the painting is here. There's probably gonna be monsters. I wanna... Uh, it's That's inconsistent with the Nibelheim flashback. There isn't supposed to be. But I wouldn't put it past them. There's only supposed to be monsters here in the present day. This door won't open. Look through the keyhole. The music is oddly calm, too. Not that creepy foreboding music yet. It's these guys. You, these monsters aren't supposed to exist until five years later. Now where's the chandelier hanging guy with the axe thing that he rides on? Oh look, they're, they're dancing. Cute. I didn't see I could do that. The blade chandelier guy, where's he at? At least the layout is familiar. Plants. Well, no plants yet. The room with the most oxygen, right? The room with the safe. There's a safe. How did Hojo cram that giant fucking monster lost number into that safe? Smaller than Zack. Oh, hell no. The fact that... Oh, no. I hope my VOD is intact. I don't want to have to upload this manually. I just saw something on Streamlabs OBS that hints at the fact that my stream may have disconnected. No, well, this is why I record. With my PC as well, despite it taking up so much space in my drive, but... How are you supposed to figure this out? We go to the guide, is what we do. Archer.
Oh, this is interesting enough that I might do it. How are you supposed to figure this out? No way. That's the solution? How would you ever... You would need... Not a five head, you would need a ten head person to figure this out without a guide. There's literally no part in the game that actually gives you a clue to this? You have to observe all this and figure it out on your own? Holy sh... And yeah, you have to do this because the numbers, it, the, the safe code is actually randomized. It, yeah, the reward better be fucking good. Sounds like it is. Interesting. So, this safe is related to the Seven Wonders or whatever. So even though we probably can figure out the safe combination right now, it's better to follow the little side quest storyline, basically. And I just skimmed by how to do this, the one that we're on about the little girl from the painting. Apparently we have to keep going up and down the stairs at the inn, um, until something happens and then, you know, I don't wanna... I just saw that and left it because I don't wanna, like, well, what might happen next. Did we see the little girl as a ghost or something? You know? But it said that we have to do that till we see the innkeeper start to go upstairs. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Looking through these keyholes, even though you can't actually, like, open the doors or anything, is actually how you're supposed to find the solution. But it's up to you completely to figure out what the game wants you to look for to find the, the code to crack the safe. That's why the, the reward is actually quite prestigious. That's not what it is. The chimney door that leads into the basement. It's supposed to blend in with the wall, man. It should look all brick-like, like the rest of the wall. That way that soldier who sits here says, I saw Sephiroth walk into this room and then he... But then I followed him and he's not here. He just disappeared. Now there's an obvious door. So we're not going to get that dialogue, I guess. Anyway. All right. We'll do the rest of this tomorrow because I got to go to bed. Um... And it's been over an hour anyway, so. But I just, I really, I was too curious. I really wanted to see what was here first. Oh yeah, part of the safe combination solution that does have to do with these guys too. So. so. Yeah, I'll just, I'll save back in town because then we can do the seven wonder quest there. Yeah, we'll come back here when it's actually... We'll do all the Seven Wonders quests, because I can just use the guide, and I'm kind of curious to see how it goes. If I didn't plan on... Like, there's... Yeah, there's no way I would have... Without the guide, I'd be like, no, fuck that, but... It took me in enough that I'm like, okay, I'll do them, but only with the help of the guide. So that we can get through them rather, you know, Activate without too much tr mode. trouble. Ah! Oh, yeah. No damage. There's a safe point back in town too, right? Or do I have to come back out here? <laughs> I have to save out there. Well, that's kind of funny. Alright, I guess. Who the fuck are you? Oh, the picture guy. Wait, is it the same guy? I heard that the hero It is, it's the same idiot. I'm okay, shut up. <laughs> you have to go all the way out here to save. If you want to save manually. Whatever. Eh, not a big deal. Alright, there we go. Alright, folks. 
I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, evening, good night. Thank you very much as always for the support across Twitch and YouTube. I will see you all next time. And until then, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. Look after each other and don't die. And I'll see you all then. Peace. Um. Dylan! You son of a bitch!